Hi, this is Dustin, and this is a demo of my extra core library for Arduino compatibles. The library is specifically meant for compatibles that have the Atmega328 chip on them, such as the Arduino Uno and any of the compatibles that are similar to the Arduino Uno. So what I have here is two Arduino compatibles. They're hooked together with I2C, the white wire and the yellow wire. And the only other connection between them is the power wire and the ground wire. Now what the library allows you to do is to read and write the pins of the client Arduino from the manager Arduino just about as easily as you can read and write the pins on a single Arduino. So if you look closely you can see I have a little $10 Arduino compatible board here and I've connected it up to a regular uh, UNO type Arduino compatible. And on the local I've set it to just flash its uh, pin 13 and what happens is every time it flashes its pin 13 it also calls the library and sends a message over to the remote and tells it to also flash its pin 13. Now you don't have to flash pin 13s together you can send messages to the re remote to uh, set the output on any of the pins to whatever you want arbitrarily. For example, if you look, you can see, and I'm going to turn off the light so you can see better, you can see this LED on the right hand side is getting brighter and dimmer. So every time the pin 13 LED flashes and the message gets sent, another PWM value is sent over which is causing this LED to flash on and off like a heartbeat. So you can set the PWM values independently and arbitrarily and you can also set all of the output pins. The other thing that's happening is that the client is about 50 times a second sending back reading data for all of the pins that aren't set to output. So the digital state and the analog state of all of the pins is getting sent back over the I2C. So what this library basically allows you to do is connect a second Arduino compatible to a project where you already have one and gain 20 input and output pins just like that. The project is uploaded to GitHub. It's pretty well debugged. It looks like it's working pretty good. So if you need something like this, you should check it out and let me know what you think.